Jujo embroidery, tie dyeing, paper cutting to leather carving, Chinese artist Wu Jianan spent 20 years integrating Chinese traditional folk art with contemporary art. It's clear to see the old and the new in his works, which are recognized both at home and abroad. Let's learn more about this renowned artist. Based on traditional Chinese art, Wu Jian'an's artworks have strong personal characteristics that combine Chinese folk art, weird images, and contemporary elements. His works create a connection between contemporary art and ancient culture and promote Chinese traditional aesthetics to the audience. 特简单特具体的Wu Jian'an started got his deep understanding of folk art during his graduate research. He visited the shadow puppet master Wang Tianwen, where he was touched by the exquisite craftsmanship involved. Then 他已经是很了不起的，就是在全陕西都非常有名的这个这个皮影雕刻大师了。就是他会说我画个什么东西，他会去做。那我觉得就就就因为这句话，我一定得画，我一定得画出个什么配得上他的刀来雕的。from 2006, a series of shadow puppet puppet artwork was created. Using traditional techniques, the size of a single shadow puppet is generally no more than two meters long, but the length of the heaven of nine levels reached five meters, which was the first technical problem that Wu Jian'an and Wang Tianwen had to break through. Cow leather will swell or shrink due to the humidity, which will distort the images that have been precisely crafted during production. After repeated experiments, the artists finally found a solution to control the moisture of the leather and also open the channel between contemporary art and the intangible cultural heritage. Wu Jian'an feels shadow puppets are especially suitable for showing supernatural images. Inspired by ancient myths, totems and fantasies, he created allegorical images of the intricate relationship between human beings, nature, myths and the universe. Actually,我们都是不断地在面对着一个模糊的源头，只有一种一种文学想象的，就是那么一个源头在做出自己的视觉阐释。in his work, The Heaven of Nine Levels, Wu visualizes the ancient myths and historical stories of China and the West. From fishes under the water to birds in the sky, nine kinds of animals are intertwined. The artwork was an important one for Wu, which led to him participating in the 57th Venice Biennale. In 2015, Wu Jian'an took part in the traditional handicraft exhibition, where he met Yao Huifen, a master of Suzhou embroidery. For the first time ever, Wu Jian'an saw the art of Suzhou embroidery in Yao's studio. I was very surprised. I was very surprised. Because they were like a photo. Because their lines were very thin. It was like a thin line. It was like a thin line. It was like a thin line. 密了，分辨率非常非常高了。然后姚老师就跟我说，他说看咱们是不是能做点什么事情。Suzhou embroidery has a total of 40 to 50 kinds of traditional stitches. Normally, only a few of them are used in each work.
。那在看到就是那个真的谱子之后，就我获得的很大的一种刺激，就是说，那些真法，即便他们什么都没秀，他们也是美的，他们是一种抽象的东西，而是就是单看这些真法本身，它就成立一种东西。那那个时候，我觉得可能我知道我。可以做一点什么东西。Wu Jianan asked Yao Huifen whether she could use different stitches in one artwork and use opposed stitches at the edges. In 2017, Suzhou embroidery was shown at the Venice Biennale for the first time. Yao Huifen's work, based on the Song Dynasty painting Skeleton Fantasy Show, stood out among the 34 embroidery works. It uses over 50 stitch methods, which was a landmark innovative practice of Suzhou embroidery. So, you first look at it, you will definitely see that there is a painting painted by Kuo Luoxi. But when you go closer and look at it, you will see that there are countless conflicts and conflicts of the truth that are mixed together. That is to say, we must release the truth of our own power. So, when the truth becomes self-sufficient, 刺绣就有机会找到他自己独一无二的语言。In 2018, as an associate professor of the Central Academy of Fine Arts, Wu Jianan took students to Guizhou, where he was inspired by the local tie dyeing techniques. He tied the fabric using various methods without dyeing, and adopted the tie dyeing technique into his work Big Body. He also instructed his students to complete a number of post-90s and Miao culture collision works, including paintings, sculptures, and games. 就说我们现在在感叹传统手工艺怎么怎么样了，怎么存在的生处境很艰难什么。其实这个有点无可奈何、花落去的感觉。它中间需要一个连接的渠道。这个连接渠道，我觉得就是当代艺术家和设计师。就这些人，他们一方面要了解都市需求。另一方面，他们是熟悉传统技艺，他们要在中间完成这个转化工作。那么这时候转化出来的东西，有机会成为新民俗。Jian An has spent nearly 20 years bringing contemporary aesthetics and attitude into traditional Chinese folk art, giving a new vitality to ancient culture in a unique way. He says imagination is actually the awakening of some kind of memory, and the innovation and creation of each nation is inseparable from the nourishment and replenishment of the mother culture. And contemporary artists should gain more inspiration from the past 5,000 years of traditional culture to create more vibrant works. Zhang Mengyuan, CGTN.